Hello and welcome to ICB English News. I'm Subala Kangabam. Let's see the top stories. Chief Minister N. Biren inaugurates the five-day Shiroi Festival at Shiroi Village Ground, Ukraine. Man sentenced to 15 years in prison for raping a 12-year-old girl student. And now the news in detail. Chief Minister N. Biren inaugurated the five-day Shiroi Festival at Shiroi Village Ground at Ukrul today. The organizers, along with the denizens of the area, accorded the Chief Minister a warm welcome on his arrival at the venue. It is worth mentioning that the festival is jointly organized by Directorate of Tourism, Government of Manipur, and Shiroi Lili Festival Committee. Ministers, MLAs, and top-ranking officials of police and civil departments also attended the inaugural function of the festival. The festival will be celebrated at multiple venues including Tankul Naga Long and Bakshi Ground. Many stalls have been set up at TNL Ground where the closing function of the festival will also be held. On the other hand, preparations are complete for Shirok at Bakshi Ground. Addressing the gathering, Chief Minister N. Biren said, the most important job of the ministers and the MLAs is making government schemes and benefits available to the people. He praised the people of Ukrul for making it possible for the government to complete the 10 crore rupees project in a very short period of time at Ukrul headquarters. What we said, we deliver to the people's side. What we commit, we do. I go in a high kiva, I go in a tall kiva photo, 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 The Court of Special Judge Pokso in Fall West, M. Manoj Kumar, has sentenced the convict of the rape case of a 12-year-old girl, Sagol M. Ranbir Maite of Mayang in Fall Kontak, to 15 years in jail today. The verdict was pronounced under Section 6 of Protection of Children from Sexual Offences Act 2012. It is worth mentioning that the rape incident happened in July 2015. It took more than two years for the law court to punish the culprit. Convict. According to information received by the ISTB News, the IO of Lumfeld Police Station, SIS Renubala, filed the charge sheet on the case within three months. On the other hand, Special Public Prosecutor A. Nilachandra fought the case for the victim by producing 13 witnesses in the more than two year long court proceeding. The court also asked the Ministry of Women and Child Development to hand over a compensation of 2 lakh rupees to the victim under the financial assistance and support service to victim scheme. On the other hand, the victim's mother praised the efforts of the I.O. and lawyer Nila Chandra that made a punishment of the convict possible. However, she said she would have been more satisfied if the court had jailed the convict for at least 20 years. <laughs>
Emphasizing the ordinance on death sentence for raping children under 12 years of age recently passed by the Prime Minister, Secretary of United Committee Manipur Women's Affair and Advisor to Nongchop Imphal Mayrapai Bi Apun Balup, Laishram Gyaneswari expressed her desire for the state government to implement similar ordinance in Manipur as well. Anti-smuggling unit Customs Division Imphal arrested a person along with gold worth approximately 1.5 crore rupees from Kurai Lamlong Market at 9.30 today morning. The arrested man has been identified as Muhammad Yasin of Sangai Mayum Mamang Lekai, 39, son of Muhammad Rahim. Assistant Commissioner of Customs Division Imphal R.K. Darendrajit asserted that Following an information received from a reliable source, the person has been kept under surveillance since the last four days. The seized 30 gold bars were brought from Myanmar with an attempt to send out to another state. <laughs> Eject information with me now. Nasisi, Sun Sumba me, Harry Missy dress, my song Chada, Sumba Nupamana, a quickie gold ship Purga, Lamlung on the Lakani, Habitiki, Lamlung on the Nai, a quick missing ship, all missing she, quick besassing a quick as in the loin address, Lerga to civil dress, Lerga, quick me, Singinajiki, gold for every Missy Panel, Lamlung the Mother Labour, the Lamlung the Parapani. New office bearers of ISTV network for the year 2018-20 to 20 have been elected today. P. Prafulo has been once again nominated as the president and K. H. Kogendra has also been once again nominated as secretary general of ISTV network. N. Gauramaitei as the vice president, K. H. Motilal and T. Joymani as the joint secretaries and Dennis Yambem as the secretary finance for the year 2018-2020. The remaining executive members are T. H. Biswajit, L. Tombi, L. Daneshwar, Kamba Salam, Dinamani, P. Jiten, G. Nabakumar Sharma, T. Deepak and B. K. Maitai. Fifteen executive members were selected in the election held on April 22 last at Lamyanba Shanglian, following which the office bearers were nominated today. And one of the major drawbacks of the state economy, businessmen from outside the state were found to have been purchasing ginger produced in Fairjol district at much cheaper rates. The outsiders have been taking due advantage of the non-availability of ginger markets in the state. As such, the ginger growers in the district are compelled to sell their yield to outsiders at much cheaper rates to earn their living. Some businessmen were even found to have been offering rice for the exchange of ginger, if not money. The department has made an offer of 9 rupees per kilogram to the ginger growers of the district during the state-level ginger festival come business summit held recently at Parbung in the district. Attending the festival, Chief Minister N. Biren also assured of some benefits for the ginger growers. Talking to ISCB News, DC of Fairjol District, A. Tombikanta said, the state-level ginger festival come business summit is going, to provide, is going to prove to be a turning point for the ginger growers. Any source, any kind of knowledge that I I don't know. poverty line the labor area. In and on the other hand, project officer of MoMA, K. Debadatta Seth, the ginger growers should try to fulfill the demands of the buyers. The consumers demand for less fibrous ginger compared to other varieties. Gudur yu pochi lebi na ba mi do na palm dragadi yon ba yaro ido wani na mo na palm yu si kai no hai si koi kangdok pa ma si kang kangdok ba matung da koi changsen jarpani buyers ing na palm yu pochi hau si kima tam na palm yu pochi ahan ba da variety da. Fiber yam ne yau daba. Ani subda organic koi ba pothoksi yam ne marang kai na demand le. Aduna 
organic ki iho ama lak na ba district sida hana thana riba ginger cultivator ginger grower hai badi ichili na kaya na wa na ekoi ki ginger puthok na ba hona riba si organic ki lam jida changjal lagadi makoi ki jidi shitli hai hai ba potu lehen na ba soke song na ba mayam da ekoi ki apam ba ma po on na ba su maru e na ekoi na ginger si organic farming tobu da yon jawa ni MPCC spokesperson Harishwar Goswami has said that the Go to Villages project is not an all new project. It was initiated in 1988 by the then Agriculture Minister W. Ango. He made this statement while addressing media persons at Congress Bhavan today. He said, let alone making an announcement in public, the then Agriculture Minister even constituted a state level advisory committee to take up the project properly. Besides, district level, block level and village level supervision supervise, supervisions were done along with awareness campaigns involving release of booklets. However, it could not be taken forward from 1989. He also wanted to know whether the result of go to villages will be better than the outcome of empowering panchayats. Pointing out irregularities in Angawadi supplies, he said, sugar, rice and other rations were released only for the first and the second phase in 2017 to 18. The supplies were never released for the fourth and the fifth phases. He drew the attention of the authority concerned to release the remaining supplies, considering the difficulties of the children of Angawadi centers. Stringent steps like launching of agitation and reporting the matter to the ministry will be taken up if the government doesn't release the remaining supplies. Questioning the government's transparency, he asked what action the government has taken regarding the gun missing case of Manipur rifles. The Manaba Zagada renovation of MPSC Office Manipur. Haiwani, as from the previous issue, repairing renovation of MPSC Office Building. Samanaba Zagagi Pony, Samanaba Mafunda, IFD designing the Shuriba, Toriba, Makoida, two thousand sixteen, the Piriba Walk Order C, a Quake Fiziki Highway, a Saint Pavi, the Shu, two thousand seventeen, the Mupiraga, November Tadani, Adu Hanaki Financial ER, Gimatam State, the Masipa, the Kaito Cray, Hire Ports in Equina, Mayam, the Tanjarisi, the SA Pavida. Uh, I have the designing the piva quick copy sing Madugi can also as a copy sing Lunar Lere, Aduga SN Pavida, Mangonda, Mangonda Pirumbagi, what other sample copy Musumayam, the press media in from the way Tamjari. As part of the untiring efforts of the state government to root out rubella and measles from the state, vaccination camps are being held widely in the far flung areas of the state. Secretary General of JSC Amtuk and Amdio, L. Biken, speaking to the media persons at Takyal, maintained that the JSC welcomed the discussion of seven pay commission for state government employees at the BJP state executive meeting, but will not accept the decision of forming a new finance expert committee to investigate into the matter. He further added that the past government had formed a fitment committee and completed the necessary process for implementation of seven pay commission. In connection with the matter, the JSE has met over three times with the Chief Minister N. Biren. Following the appeal of the Chief Minister to give three months to study the reports of the Fitman Committee, the JSC has been waiting for a positive response. However, upon completion of the given three months, no appointment has been given to meet the Chief Minister. The JSC has remained silent upon refusal of the Chief Minister to meet them in connection with the Seven Pay Commission. According to Fitman Committee report, around 1,400 crore rupees has been finalized as Seven Pay for the government employees. Employees. Therefore, formation of financial expert committee is not required. The government has been applying delaying tactics and challenging the rights of the employees. On the other hand, refusal of the representatives of JAC to hold a talk with the government is because of the warrant issues as well as show cause notice applied to the members of JAC for launching the agitation. However, we'll hold a talk to bring an amicable solution only after withdrawal of the warrant issues and show cause notice by the government. The JAC has not decided to hold with the government as of now. Government 
financial export committee Residents of Langthabal stage sit in protest against bomb planted near Langthabal Kunja Mayai Lekai Pukri Achokba along National Highway 102 on April 20 by unknown persons. The sit in protest was organized by Langthabal Kunja Mayai Lekai Mayrapai B and DLC Langthabal at Langthabal Kunja Market. A woman protester appealed to all not to repeat such act in crowded place in the future. Matiang Pang, we do not have a Sukanana Toribano, have a duty get people in Kangde, Karino Langlan, and Zipo Topiduna, Equino Sumba, Missam Praza, Equibu, Aki to Zumba Pon, Biganu, Havisi, Equina, Mayampuna, Wata, Ware, Naraganga, Sea, Sea, Pamina, Sea, Haduna, Equilem Nebani. A person's true position is knowledge and intelligence. Anything can be possible if a person has good knowledge and the quality of being wise, stated Revenue Minister Karamsha. He was speaking at the inaugural function of the seven-day annual sports MU Fest and Book Fair at Manipur University. The sports week is being organized by Manipur University Students Union, Musu, under the theme, Unity is Strength, Knowledge is Power, Attitude is Everything. The minister took salute of the much past competition participated by contingents from different departments of Manipur University. As part of the sports week, a book fair was also inaugurated by the minister. Finance officer of Manipur University, K. Jivan Kumar and many teachers attended the inaugural function. Minister Karam Shyam further said, If knowledge and wisdom are not obtained at the time of youth, future will not be meaningful. The most important thing is to have a good communication and to obtain good ideologies, he added. Luang Sangbam Gram Panchayat also organized Gram Panchayat as part of National Panchayat Day at Luang Sangbam Community Hall. Adakshya of Imphal East, P. Bimola, General Secretary Administration of BJP, K. Sharad Kumar and General Secretary Organization N. Nimbus, among others, attended the program. K. Sarat said, Imphal West has been selected for its distinguished service among the rest of the states in India and the team is presently at Jabalpur, Madhya Pradesh to receive the award. <laughs> Thank you. 
Kurkul Gram Panchayat also organized special Gram Sava at Kurkul Mayai Likai Community Hall. Local MLA H. Dingo, General Secretary of BJP K. Sarat Kumar and N. Nimbus also attended the program. N. Nimbus said the NDA government has been launching various schemes for women to bring development in India. Gram Sabha is the most important meeting for the villages. Various developmental works to be taken up in the area should be consulted and submit the report to the government. He appealed to the people to sort out the required works to be taken up in the area. In connection with the National Panchayat Day, a special Gram Sabha of Kurai Chingangbam Lekai Gram Panchayat was held at Kongpal Kongkham Lekai Community Hall. Padan of the Gram Panchayat, Kanan Bala and many Watt members attended the special Gram Sabha. Simple gifts were presented to elderly persons selected from 10 Watts as part of the Gram Sabha. Padan Kanan Bala said, the special Gram Sabha was organized as part of the efforts made by the government to develop the state by developing the villages first. Puna puna unamina duna makoiga ikoiga gyan tamina rakanda lebado chakhat na ba kumbanga du chakhat pa pora kada bani hai bagi pandam da nasi ikoi na masi sinja bani ikoi gi wa tara da gi tholak ba ise isal ne puna magna le sabi mo khuding mak pulla kanda nasi ikoi yam nungai raba lam jen gi amasu thamjari madu da ikoi ha second tha tarak pa singdu da so ikoi price na singba pira kanda Excellence Award was conferred to franchise of Little Millennium Preschool Imphal East and Imphal West, Sanaita Thangjam and her team on April 23rd at the Little Millennium National Meal 2018 held at a Holiday Inn Resort, Mobor Beach, Goa. The meet was organized by Little Millennium Education Private Limited, India's leading preschool chain to recognize, celebrate and encourage excellence in education and early child care. Millennium is one of the fourth winners and pioneers in preschool education in India with over 600 preschools across 100 cities. The award is based on different parameters of education excellence, namely structure curriculum, high quantity infrastructure, competence of teachers, individual attention to students through leadership, innovative teaching methodology, safety, security and hygiene among others. CEO of Little Millennium Education, Raman Bajaj, Deputy Director of Academics and Training, Manjit Lega, and Journal Head East, Dhruva Khanna, and members from various preschools from all over the country attended the award presentation function. Lanchen BFC Tabungkhok has clinched the title of the first MLA Trophy 7 Men A Side Football Tournament organized by the KAYO Kumbi. Altogether, 25 teams participated in the tournament that began from April 5 at Kumbi Kangdaibung Playground. Lanchen BFC managed to beat YADA. Kang Soibi Mapal in the final match played yesterday. Minister of CAF and PD Karam Shyam, MLA of Kumbi Assembly Constituency S. Bira and Major Pravesh Shah of 42 Assam Rifles were the men guests at the closing function of the football tournament. Minister Karam Shyam said, sports do not only benefit the players but also divert the mind of the young generation from indulging in evil activities like drugs. <laughs>
and on the other hand, MLAS Bira said, state players should make efforts to take part in the international championships and trophies. The champions trophy, along with a cash prize of 30,000 rupees, was handed over to Lanchen BFC, while the runner-up team was given a trophy along with a cash prize of 20,000 rupees. <laughs> And before we wind up the top stories once again. Chief Minister N. Biren inaugurates five-day Shiroi festival at Shiroi village ground, Okrol. And men sentenced to 15 years in prison for raping a 12-year-old girl student. Thank you so much for joining with us and good night.